Well, more than 65,000 Syrian refugees could be welcomed into this country each year starting in 2017. That's Hillary Clinton's plan if elected president, apparently. Our next guest says we should return those refugees to their homeland in order to keep Americans safe. Juliana Tumarazi is president of the Iraqi Christian Relief Council and a former Iranian refugee. It's great to see you this morning. Thank you for coming on. Um, so you have Thank firsthand you experience in this as someone who's come to this country uh, from that region. Why are you saying now that these refugees ought to be returned ultimately to their country of origin? Uh, when I escaped Iran, I escaped because of religious harassment, and yes. I was vetted when, when I came to the United States. It is very tough to vet these Syrian refugees whom on a moment's notice had to escape without appropriate paperwork. And uh, realistically, Tucker, we live uh, in a very different world post 9-11. As we see, terror has been inflicted on the West, on the American lives, through the Islamist fundamentalists. And a lot of these people, the, these terrorists, have been indoctrinated or came here to change the way of our lives. And look, the real solution is on the ground in Iraq, and real solution is in Syria. What country can absorb millions of people, and it's going to cost us a lot of money? Yes. We have to return these people back to their countries. And you know, when we visit, I visited Muslim refugee camps and Christians in the, in the, in the region. Most of them want to return to what they know. They want to return to their homes, to their lives. Well, sure. A lot of, especially a lot of these Muslims, when you talk to them, they say, look, we don't know the language in the United States. We don't know the culture. There's going to be a culture clash. Help us return. And this is why my organization works tirelessly to help repatriate refugees to safe areas. That's why safe zones, safe havens are so important. So on the question of Syria, Syria has a very large Christian population, always has, protected by the Assad family, by the way. Um, and yet, so maybe 10% Christian-ish in Syria. And yet the refugees that we're getting, apparently far, far smaller percentage of them are Christian. It almost seems like by design that we are making it more difficult for Christian refugees to come to this country. Is that true, do you think? Yes, it is true. Uh, unfortunately, we believe that this current administration is not friendly to the Christian cause. Uh, look how long it took Secretary Kerry to announce the uh, genocide against Christians, and we pushed very hard for that to happen. Um, the bottom line is the Christians, uh, Christianity is a Middle Eastern religion. Yes. And these Christian Assyrians want to go back home to their ancestral homeland. They, they have lived there for 6,700 years. And America really should uh, help keep Iraq intact and help to create this safe area, a safe haven, not only for Christians, but for minorities. Right. Tucker, uh, existence of Christianity, existence of minorities, a healthy minority community in northern Iraq is extremely important for keeping the whole region stable. That's exactly right. Christians in the Middle East tend to vote Republican when they get here, and I hope that didn't have any role in our refugee policy, but you never know. Thanks all for joining us. We really appreciate it. And if you're interested watching at home to learn more about this organization, Juliana's organization, you can go to foxandfriends.com, and we've got a lot more there for you. Juliana, thanks a lot. Thank you. Appreciate